Hey guys, so this is part two of signs that he is emotionally immature. And it's like, of course, there's a whole lion back to back to back crap came up. So is that the thing that you feel like he's been not truthful back to back? It's like, Dr. Nicole, every time I feel like I'm dealing with one thing, I find out something else. In this video, we are going to be talking about key signs that I think often are kind of like the red flag warning signs that this could be creeping into something that can maybe be detrimental to your well-being. The first sign that I want to talk about is a sign that they don't like to be held accountable. Every time we argue, it's not because I went out and cheated. It's not because I went out and did something dumb. It's from the past and she got a problem with it, and that's where it starts. It ain't nothing I'm doing. It's just what you can't handle, I guess. I don't know what it is. Guys, I'm coming in. Pay close attention. Do you know what she's talking about? Do you know the young lady she's talking about? I know the person she's, that talking, she's about? talking about, and that's... <laughs> the first time she saw her, the last time she saw her, the, it, there was nothing at all, period nothing this is a sign that is really key because if somebody is constantly never wanting to accept accountability for their actions always wanting to deflect blame you even call you a liar came out the house that's how i saw you you're lying oh yeah. my god you need to pay close attention and you need to think about running the other way because those kind of behaviors if it's a pattern of behavior and you've addressed it with that person and that person doesn't seem to change it run because this stuff only gets worse last year i found some stuff that he lied to me about in his phone what did you find just all kinds of stuff about the girl that came out of his apartment he told me it was his roommate's friend turns out it was something that he had going on it's it's just so much stuff and yeah that happened before but for me to still find these things out and for people to look at me like I'm crazy because I haven't gotten over it, it's because I can't get over it because every time I try to I found out more stuff. But he has this ability to now turn it around and blame his girlfriend for everything and it to me this is just a warning sign that this person is unable to not only take accountability but they're really unable to actually recognize and empathize with how and where their partner's coming from and she just so happy she she snuck to my house that morning i didn't sneak and, to your house i was coming right, in done. from out That's of town it. because done. once again when i leave town your phone I'm, is on I'm all done. of a sudden dead so i walk down the hallway the girl's coming out of your apartment with you right behind her if it's your roommate's friend listen so, if listen, it's your roommate's friend why like are you that. walking her to the elevator what do you mean i didn't even come out of my house you guys I, well, I, I, I promise on my grandmother's grave that i'm not so, lying his partner, Tamika, in my opinion, is obviously showing clear signs of distress, but she's showing clear signs of, I'm so sick and tired of you telling me that I've got it wrong or telling me that I've not seen something or telling me that I don't know what it is I'm seeing or hearing or reading. And you can see he does this again in this episode. He paints her out to be a liar. And she has to go to the extent of saying, I swear on my grandmother's grave. Now, this is a warning sign, guys. If you are in a relationship where every two minutes you're having to say, I swear on my life or I swear on my grandmother's grave, red flag. This is red flag behavior. This is stuff you should not be sweeping under any carpets. You need to lift those carpets up. You need to be able to address those things clearly in the here and now with that person. Let them know how that leaves you feeling. And if that person is unable together with you to make some changes to how things are going in that relationship, I would suggest you consider whether that is a relationship you want to stay in. These signs are signs of things to come. I honestly feel this guy has demonstrated gaslighting, which is where it can creep into this place of getting you to doubt your own reality. Ladies and men, this is not just only men who do this, this is women too. So these are signs that everybody needs to be aware of and think twice when they start to see a pattern of this. The next warning sign is an immediate defensive. They can't mentalize and walk in your shoes of how 
that experience has probably made you feel. If you see a pattern of behavior, every time you wanna explain how you're feeling, their immediate reaction is to call you a liar, to blame you, to become the victim and make you the persecutor, to turn the whole situation around on you, to almost make you feel like you're doing something wrong to them. This kind of thing, it only gets worse. And I've done a previous video on gaslighting and check it out here. These are warning signs of what I would call emotional abuse. I personally don't go around calling people a narcissist and I'm not calling Vince a narcissist, but what I am saying is there are certain behaviors that when we witness that in our partners or people we're dating, we need to not just kind of turn a blind eye. We need to be able to address it in the open. And if that person and you together can't make some changes, then you need to make a decision about whether that's safe enough for you to stay in it. I really do believe that so many people are going through so many forms of um, emotional abuse and dealing with quite emotionally immature partners that we need to kind of be a bit more aware of what are these signs before we get into these long-term committed relationships and then struggle to find our feet and get ourselves out. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe and the bell so you never miss another video each and every time I upload. Take care and God bless. Bye.